You've seen this trope before, I'm sure. There's caution tape around a crime scene, detectives and investigators swarm about looking for evidence. One of them is dusting for fingerprints, and eventually they find something. A fingerprint on a doorknob, or a glass, or on a window. They run the prints, and find the bad guy. Voila, happy ending. That kind of story fits nicely into an episode of SVU, but it doesn't actually reflect much of what the real process is like. In the real world, there are a number of issues with fingerprints. For starters, they're everywhere and on everything in various states of decay. Every household appliance and remote control and phone and computer and tabletop and light switch and cupboard is covered in them. So the process of dusting for prints isn't like looking for a single print or two in an otherwise clean room. The room is full of prints and you're trying to figure out if any of them belong to someone other than the victim. The other major issue is that fingerprinting analysis isn't quite as reliable as the TV shows would have us believe. In recent years, there's been a lot of pushback from the scientific community on whether or not the practice actually yields reliable results at all. The authors are attempting to build a system that is fully contactless and uses algorithmic enhancements to pull as much reliable data out of the prints as possible. This is in the hopes of building a system and technique that is less likely to damage existing prints, more likely to preserve forensic integrity, and can be used by any layperson. 